Hey, this is Suzanne Dusay in Hollywood, California with Music News Now. Today we have a guest, a very special guest, Paradiso from Fifth Element Music. Hi, Paradiso. Hi, Suzanne. And how did you start playing the didgeridoo? How did I start playing the didgeridoo? Well, um, this is uh, back in 96. I was working in my dad's store, got a job at my dad's store for retail, and I went on the computer and I saw something that said Whole Life Expo in San Francisco. And Whole Life Expo, it's, it sounds interesting. So I went there and uh, also I heard a, a sound. I never heard it before, but I, it, it was, I know I've heard it before. It was maybe a different lifetime. And so I started watching this man with, with the didgeridoo, and he was blowing around the person's body. And I was looking at the person, and whoa, that person was changing in front of me. The expression of the body was releasing. Um, and so after that person was finished, motioned me on, I'm mean, sitting in the chair, I go, no way, absolutely not, so I watched another person, and so after that, I finally said, okay, I'm going to sit in and try it, and uh, I sat down, he says, just relax, my brother, and just take it in, feel the sound, so I did, and within a couple minutes, my whole life changed, I mean, I felt, I felt every being, and every, every thing in my body that just released so many different things and after the session he goes dream time dream time my brother and I go dream time because you will soon find out and so that night um, I did have a dream and it was a dream of um, elders of different cultures and they were speaking different languages. And it was like teaching um, healing um, things to me and how to heal. And so this went on for a series of three months, every night. I just couldn't wait, jump in the bed and, 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 and catch these dreams. And so um, then finally one dream it says buy a didgeridoo and I bought one. And so that's how I got started. It also taught me the, um, the way you play the didgeridoo is circular breathing. And so they actually showed me water like this. Water, yeah. Oh, water. And so I, I got up the next morning and I visualized it. And that, I, that day I got the technique of circular breathing. What a wonderful story, Paradiso. I mean, this is like how everybody should actually follow their bliss and do what they really meant to do. And you found your bliss. And you also found an incredible teacher, Taj Ali. Taj Ali. How did you meet Taj Ali? Well, um, I was um, at the time that when I started working with the didgeridoo, then I took a massage uh, and um, I was doing some sound healing at a bookstore and he came up and he goes, how you doing my brother? He goes, I, I like your sound. He goes, well, come with me. And I got a little show here at uh, a coffee shop. And I go, well, oh, no, we supposed to rehearse or anything? He goes, rehearse? No, my brother, from, play from within. I go, well, okay. And so we play that night and it was the most magical thing that's ever happened to me in, in the music. This Taj Ali was a shaman, a shaman of music. And he taught in ways without words. He taught me, I, I just I just grabbed his coattail. And then you stayed with him virtually until he passed until away. Until he passed away. Yes. He, and he guided me towards to you. Yeah. Well, which is a blessing. And I met Taj Ali uh, many, many years ago in 1983 in San Jose. We actually spent a lot of time together, did music together. And I'm so happy that he brought you to me and that he found you. Mm -hmm. 
We found each other again. And the didgeridoo, I heard, is the oldest instrument on the planet. How old is the didgeridoo? 60,000 years old. Wow. Yeah. And so the Aborigines um, used this instrument for c ceremonies. And uh, um, also the the drone of the didgeridoo is the old. And that's, that's why so many people, when they hear that, the very first time I heard it, it's just, it takes you to that remembrance place. It takes you back home. And so it's, it's and, and brings you back in, into the mother's womb. And that's why when I first heard that, and my first session, I remembered. Because the Om is the center sound of the universe. It's the sound of all creation. So when you tune into that center sound of the universe, you're just becoming the source, yeah. the I am, the I self. Am. The, the self the so sound. The, the didgeridoo creates the sound of the self. And that's why so many people are connecting back to the source. Absolutely. And the original authentic didgeridoo is not even called the didgeridoo, no. I learned. Well, um, back in Australia, the uh, tribes of the Aborigines, they uh, they do they go around to the eucalyptus trees. They get a stick and they find the hollow piece and they cut it. And and the termite just eats the inner core out. Completely. Completely. Wow. Now there's some now a, a didgeridoo is really. Um, made uh, maybe half of it from the termite and the rest is man-made so um, original instrument is um, you got you got the uh, now originally you know really putting this energy into it and, and putting the uh, natural paints like crushed rocks and uh, they use natural dyes all from the earth and you play several of these authentic didgeridoos. Yes, I do. Wonderful. Thank you, Paradiso. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Suzanne. This is Suzanne Doucet, Inner, Inner Peace. This is Suzanne Doucet with uh, Music News Now from Hollywood, California.